Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a very exciting weekly vlog where I basically lived in London for a week which is honestly crazy and I also lived in London with my boyfriend Angelo so this is proper adulting you guys and I really hope you enjoy following our week showing you a bit of what we got up to, some behind the scenes and yes this is the first video where you guys will meet Angelo so I really hope you guys enjoy it as usual definitely give it a thumbs up if you do and we'll dive straight into Sunday when I basically had to pack and get myself ready to move into London. Honestly, this is so crazy to me. I honestly cannot believe this is happening and this is real, but I am basically living in London for a week. I'm basically staying here with my boyfriend, which is still so crazy for me to say. And yeah, I am so excited. This is the apartment that we're staying in. I will give you guys a quick tour of the full place. So I'll do that now. We're like quite high up and the views are honestly incredible like i woke up this morning and it was just a very gloomy day actually but it's brightened up and it's just so cool to i don't know be living in london like this has been not a dream of mine but i've really wanted to see what it would be like to live in london and yeah it's like happening it's honestly crazy i did not plan this for 2023 at all that's why like i've said recently in videos that 2023 has been all over the place like really good things have been happening not so great things have also been occurring in my life right now it's currently like mid-afternoon so like 3 p.m um and yeah this is basically the full apartment it's basically like an open plan apartment studio thing and we have windows all the way around this is the kitchen we have our food basically it doesn't have that much stuff but we have some plants um and there is a third one there we have this tv kind of lounge area set up with the sofa and then as i said the massive windows the view can we just appreciate the view of london as you can see very nice um this is the desk or the table where we work and stuff trip hazard um so we definitely have to be careful about that that is um the hallway through here um where you kind of come in where we put all our shoes and bags. You can tell we're runners and with the trainers. Um, I'm not sure what is in that cupboard. Hmm. Oh, okay, like boiler, boring. This is the ensuite in here. Um, it is also very nice and spacious. I haven't yet used the shower, um, but I think the sink is leaking, which is kind of a classic issue in bathrooms. Massive mirror, very nice. You know, toilet, we love. This is then the bedroom, but it's like, basically connected to the main area of the apartment so yeah that is everything essentially and as you guys will know by now if you watched the video where i basically said yes i'm in a relationship now it's all like so so new to me but it just feels right like i can't put it any other way if i imagined what it would be like to be in a relationship like this is what i imagined i just didn't think i'd be in this situation um but as I said, life is always unexpected and that is what keeps you on your toes. But yeah, sorry, enough of me waffling with my head in the clouds, quite literally at the top of this apartment building. But yeah, I have been working this morning while we were both working um, because we both remote work basically. I am just here on my own right now. Yesterday we cooked dinner for the first time together actually. Um, we are both vegan, which is amazing. It's just, it's just a dream. As I said, I'm awake and I'm living it, so... I'm not complaining. I also have this really weird kind of like spot thing on my head here. I need to kind of sort it out. Hmm. I don't know if it's squeezable or I should leave it because otherwise it's going to come up really red on my head. I did just squeeze this spot like that was probably the wrong decision, but it was just so tempting. Like there was so much pus in that spot. Um, no idea where it came from. Yeah, I say that about every single spot. Like where did they even come from? But yeah, basically I spent the rest of my afternoon working at our little desk in the apartment or the table basically. Angela was out as I said and so I was just getting on with some tutoring prep work for Holly Jumia because I had a few sessions coming up later that week and then I also just did some editing so I felt really productive you know in a new location and in our really cool apartment. I honestly just still couldn't get my head around the fact that we were living there together for this a week. This is kind of where I'm working like look at this light just beaming in it's honestly wow like I could get used to this you guys it's so cool but yeah I have my Mac here. I literally feel like a proper adult for the first time. Um, oh, let me show you the sourdough bread we actually had for lunch from MS. Crafted sourdough, like, oh my gosh, so good. I brought my donuts, two of my donut time donuts. We had those yesterday. I didn't show you guys, but 
we devoured those yesterday and then we have some food here um, mostly breakfast stuff like peanut butter powder oats um this is the stuff we had yesterday what's it called ugali or something never had it before but oh my gosh game changing that stuff and yeah i just did some washing up this afternoon and um, we drink water from wine glasses just because we're that fancy um well there aren't actually that many glasses but it's quite fun um this is ibuprofen by the way if you're wondering we're not um taking anything dodgy it's just for my foot and um, Angela had a headache yesterday. Another highlight that I thought I would show you guys, it doesn't look very full um, at all, but this is what we have in the fridge. Hummus, guacamole, um, some avocado left, fruit. Um, these are the tomatoes we used yesterday. Um, and then we just have almond milk, Alpro, loads of serene because we are literally obsessed. And then I bought some bars. Oh, and that's more serene. I haven't actually tried this one. I'm gonna try this hopefully today. So before we met, we didn't know how much we loved serene and we are now just honestly hooked on that stuff. We are determined to find and rate every single flavor. But yeah, basically later that evening, Angelo went on a run. So I just did some yoga and stretching in the apartment. And I haven't actually said, but we were staying in North London in Archway. So that's on the Northern line on the tube map, if you are familiar with London. And then basically after that, we went and got some food and groceries so we could make dinner together. So we basically made a brown rice with loads of veggies, hummus, and then these vegan sausages from Aldi with this chickpea thing that we made. We just call it a concoction of really good food. And we are both vegan. I mentioned that in my last video. I mean, I've never found someone who loves like very similar foods to me and just purely loves food. And as you guys know, this is like my first ever relationship in my whole entire life, but I've never felt happier. And I just feel so comfortable being myself around Angelo and we just literally crack each other up. We were honestly in fits of laughter like the whole week. I'm not even joking. But yeah, on Tuesday, we were basically working for the majority of the day and then later on that afternoon. So later in the afternoon, early evening, we went on a walk around Hampstead Heath because that is the area of London where we were staying. I've never been here before, but they basically have a running track in the Heath. Go, 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 go. As you guys may know, if you've watched my last few videos and weekly vlogs, I am injured. I injured my foot while running and I'm still kind of just waiting for it to heal but I just wanted to test it out on the running track and Angelo was doing an interval session. We then got back and made dinner and then we're jumping to Thursday because Wednesday was filmed as a separate video. Am I going to be in the vlog? Of course you're going to be in the vlog. Um, what do I say to these people? I don't they're know. They're here for you, they're not here for me. I'm just part of your life at this point for them. Mm, I'm sure they'll be here for you. <laughs> Well, at some point, because I'm pretty crazy, I end up doing something really stupid as well. Mm -hmm. And I'll be down in the comments getting roasted. No, this is just down. a little tease. Mm. A little tease? Yeah. Okay. Well, what do I say? To smile. Hey. Wait, what the hell? Am I stuck in this lift? Wait. Oh shoot! No! Oh my god, I'm trying to race Angelo down to the bottom and I'm in the lift and he's taking the stairs and I forgot to press zero! No! I was literally standing here in the lift and I didn't press the- Oh wait, did I still be here? Wait, what? You got lost! You got lost! I didn't press the button for ages, it wasn't moving, I thought I was stuck. <laughs> mm. Butter beans? Should we try it? Butter beans? Do you think? Yeah, I think so. Butter beans. We're currently in MS. We are currently in MS. Which is your favourite shop? It is apparently my favourite shop, but Waitrose comes in closer. Oh, okay. The Bushina. Mm -hmm. There's basically tons of supermarkets around this area, and we've basically explored all of them. There's like MS, Audi. Is there a little? Yeah, there is a little. There's a little, but it's Lidl's like a, bit... a 15 minute walk. Yeah. There's... The Audi's so close. Yeah, the Audi's like two minutes. Yeah. And this is the M&S. There's like Tesco Express, is there? Local? But the Tesco Express is Sainsbury's local. Sainsbury's local. There's Everything. There's Swift by Iceland. Swift by Iceland and an Iceland. Iceland. But yeah, we're just getting a lunch. Iceland. Iceland. Yeah, we should definitely go to Iceland. Mm, we did. We looked at Iceland. Oh, oh, you yeah, mean you mean the actual country? Yeah. Oh yeah, true. We need a run through of our day. What did we do? We woke up. 
What time did we wake up? We woke up at like 7.30. I slept. Yeah, you slept. And then I slept too when yep. I wasn't supposed to. We worked though. We did. Made calls. Got the calls done, mm -hmm. you know. Well, we had breakfast. We had breakfast. I had a cold shower. Well, they actually didn't shower because it was cold. You, you know had... what though, I realized just having company whilst working is so nice, mm. even though like, we're just not tall, we're just kind of like doing our own thing. Mm. You know, just having that one person in front of you. I felt more productive, I don't know. Mm-hmm, yeah, and then we went to Eminence and we're making lunch. Mm -hmm. And we're making potatoes, well. Potatoes, potatoes, beans, beans. Yeah, potatoes, potatoes, mm. beans. Beans. Butter beans, kidney beans. And avocado. Avocados. Avocado. Absolute staple. Mm. Oh, and spinach. Spinach. We kind mm. of burnt it. Mm -hmm. But we you did. know what? Still it's toasted. Toasted bread. Very good sourdough bread. As I have definitely hinted at, we are both lovers of yes food, as I said, but also running. And we were going to go on a run like about an hour after we'd had our lunch. So we had avocado toast with beans and potatoes, as I said. And basically, I just had to do some washing. So, you know, proper adulting, you guys. And then we got ready to go on a run. So on the track the previous day, my foot felt really good. And my physio said just to take it easy. And I was also strapping my foot to kind of like help my extensor tendonitis but yeah our plan was to basically run down to the gym and do a bit of a gym session and then afterwards we would run some errands whilst actually running around london and then for all of my gym goers out there if you were interested we started with squats and i've never done these before like i've done regular squats but not with a proper barbell and let me tell you these things are so so hard you guys i was lifting 40 kilograms because the bar is 20 and then i had two 10 kilogram plates on either side yes i was struggling a little bit especially um towards the end of my sets but you know it was really fun and as i said we got back quite a bit later because we had some stuff to do after that and i just stretched out as soon as i got back because it's literally essential for me and i stretch on the daily this is Angelo's jacket because I genuinely didn't think I'd be back running. I know my foot's not 100%, but it's okay. And we did about 10K today. I went to physio yesterday, basically, and he said that if it doesn't make it worse, then I should be fine. I'm gonna keep icing it, stretching it, doing my strength work with the foot. Um, but yeah, we basically ran to the gym, did a gym session. We did squats, bicep pull things, and pull-ups some abs thrown in there as well then we ran and did some other stuff like a big adventure we had to get the tube we both had like 10 percent battery so we had to be really careful but it's 20 past eight we are making pieces this evening i'm gonna have a shower um after angelo's had a shower i um, just had to get toilet roll because we ran out and i'm definitely a culprit of using too much toilet roll these are my trainers that i don't normally run in actually but um they're the only ones i have with me and yeah, I've changed the laces like I did with my other trainers the other week, which I showed you guys in my weekly vlog. Um, but yeah, this week has been so cold, like really nice and sunny, but like minus degrees. It's honestly crazy. It's actually so cool living in this apartment. Um, it's gonna be sad when we have to leave at the end of the week, but basically been living together for a week. We may have just done the best being in grocery haul. 100%. Now let's start with the first item we've purchased. Which was what? Raspberries? Yes, raspberries. Raspberries. From Bois. We got an onion. Not that interesting, is it? Yeah, no. Like banana. So we corn. Tomato and basil. Tomato and basil. We basically went to Audi and the co-op, by the way. That's why it's mm. a mixture of both. Favourites. Mushrooms. Chicken mushrooms. Five days in a row. Mm-hmm, yeah. Five days in a row. And then we got this interesting basil-infused olive oil. Yes, to make our pizzas. Yeah, and it was also the cheapest one there. You got this yesterday, right? Oh, we got this yesterday, yeah. This is what we're making our pizzas with. Mm-hmm. Blueberries. blueberries. And arguably the best tofu the best to ever tofu. exist. The oh. smoked one. It's so good. I finally found smoked tofu in 100%. the UK. Oh, and then our snacks. We took a while deciding. Yes. I haven't tried this naked bar. It is a double chocolate naked bar. You haven't tried these naked bars. Mm -hmm. Salted caramel, arm butter, mm -hmm. and the best track bar to ever exist. Where it all started after the 30 day run. So I will, yes, be making a video where I talk about how we met and how everything came to be, if we could say, because it is quite a story. It dates back to May in 2022, but the first time we met was in December and we went on a 30 kilometer run it was actually one of my vlogmas episodes for holiday so you can watch that if you are curious at all but in the meantime I will just show you guys us making our giant rectangular pizza we just loaded it with so so many different toppings of 
put it in the oven. I'm actually so excited for this. We did good. We did great. How long do we wait for this pizza? Probably like, how long does it take the mushroom to cook in the oven? Mm. Normally you might be something like 12 minutes, do you know? Yeah. 12 minutes. I think like 10 to be honest. <gasps> oh, damn, dude. Oh, oh my. Oh, oh, don't drop it. Don't drop it. Did we just make a masterpiece? This is legendary. You're so good. I'm so coming. good. I want you to make a compilation of this food, man. I am definitely going to be making a big food compilation on my Instagram because we just love cooking and making things. We get so excited over food and I feel like it's definitely one of our love languages. And if you hadn't already guessed, our favorite breakfast to make is oats. So I was just making it for both of us on Friday whilst Angelo was just in the shower. And, you know, we're already such a good team. You know, we take it in turns to cook and cook together, do the washing up and everything. It's just honestly the best thing. The best. Mm -hmm. So I'll have to show you guys the full recipe at some point, but we make it with peanut butter powder and then we just love adding loads of different toppings. So usually a banana, nut butter, and then we had these dark chocolate outro yogurts, which were just so good as well. But basically that morning we did some work and then we headed into a central London. So we got the tube because I had a laser hair removal appointment and this was actually my last one. I'm going to be doing a big review of my whole laser hair removal process but basically after that we went to Planet Organic to get some snacks. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at the little detail. Man. I know. I don't think I've ever had a vegan croissant. Me neither. This is my first. Really? First time. You can honestly find a vegan alternative to anything these days but as I said we both hadn't yet tried a vegan croissant and these were so good from Planet Organic. They also do an almond croissant and we tried the pecan cups as well that I showed you guys they are apparently better microwaved i've been pulled by the founder actually but yeah it was just a really good snack break we then explored london for a bit before heading to find some lunch okay we're getting lunch from kushari street, kushari street. it is egyptian they street food mm -hmm. technically egyptian peasant food you've tried it before right yes okay Not what makes it actually Oh, okay. Kushari Street. I had also never tried Egyptian food before. I'd never even heard of Kushari. And we basically got the classic bowls. So the base is like a mixture of rice, noodles, and pasta. And then you have this tomato sauce with chickpeas and then crispy onions with this other stuff that the lady was putting on top. I don't really know, but oh my gosh, the whole bowl was insanely good. And then we basically hit the jackpot in Whole Foods. How far did we run? About 14. 14.2 kilometers, and now we're taking 12 flights of stairs up. This was my second run back after four weeks off. It's brutal. Oh, sheesh. Basically, Friday evening was spent running, having showers, and making food, and just, you know, chilling. And on Saturday, we had to check out from the apartment, so we packed in the morning. And we then walked to Camden because we got lunch from Clean Kitchen. And then we got ice cream from a place called Amarino. They do, like, vegan sorbets, and they do loads of different flavors. So Angelo got a chocolate sorbet, and then I got the banana and mango sorbet. But the best thing is that they make them into flower shapes, and they're honestly so good so i highly recommend you guys try them we then parted ways but obviously we were going to see each other really soon anyway but you know that was our full week monday through to saturday pretty much but we had the best time together and i really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video there is some really exciting things coming up but i just want to leave you with a reminder that you know if you're in a relationship or not you are always loved and i just want you to be happy in yourself and with your own life you know i am in a really a really good place right now i've never felt happier but you know this was all very unexpected and you know i'm just trying to live life in the moment and live my best life because that's my goal you know so definitely like this video if you enjoyed it leave a comment down below subscribe if you are new because you are always welcome to join the community and i will leave you guys with the bloopers and speak to you very soon in another video don't squeeze your spots but 
Sometimes it just has to be done. Coats off, coats on, coats on. It was a sick girl's room. It was. Oh, we have loads of food. See, this is how you do it. Oh. oh, okay. Oh, it's been in the fridge for too long. What? I've never seen the inside <laughs> of a freaking avocados. Is it a seed or a stone? Oh my god, this trip. Hello, world. My name's Angelo. Sorry, I'm literally daydreaming in this video. I'm not really too with it. Well, I am with it, but you know what I mean. If you've been in this situation, I think you'll get what it feels like. Just very happy Holly right now. Oh my god. We smashed it. We smashed it. We did smash it. Again. Um, that slaps is another fridge. That slaps. Hey! Red egghead. Great. Definitely not what we want. Floor <laughs> <laughs> 12. <laughs>